On April 27th of this year, we opened the new Kosciuszko Bridge to traffic, uh, moved all the traffic off the old bridge. It was a 1939 old steel truss structure. About two months ago, we lowered the main span of the bridge over the creek. Now, there are 20 remaining spans, ranging from 130 to 240 foot in length. And using explosives, we are gonna bring these spans down to the ground to be processed and recycled. Prior to dropping uh, the spans, we have to set up uh, concrete or soil berms. Those berms are both done to soften the blow, lessen the impact, the vibrations to the ground, and also uh, let the bridge you know, tilt away from uh, any nearby obstructions. The bridge will be dropped via the use of these locally shaped charges. Uh, the way they work is they instantly cut the bridge in several locations, right close to the supports, and then it drops of its own weight via gravity. Involved with this job has been a bit of a dream come true for a New Yorker and a builder. You know, to build the first big, beautiful bridge in New York City since the Verrazano back in the 1960s is a dream come true in itself. But then to come together with our team, you know, Skanska, Kiwit, and Echo, and the great folks we had on this job, you know, was really an absolute pleasure. You know, the team worked together, overcame obstacles, and really delivered a fantastic product for our clients and for the New York metro area for the community.